He's feeding a rape, all these on my coochie. He touching a million on coochie. Doing good, I'm a young coochie. A lot of action, he feeding me sushi. Bossy, 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 bossy. Bananas, back again today with another video. I know it's been a hell of a minute since we sat down and actually filmed a makeup tutorial. So I was like, you know what? It's about due, and I wanna just sit down in my brand new, new beauty room. If you guys did not see my last upload, completely transformed my entire beauty slash content room and literally turned it all out, hence why you see a brand new background. If you guys have not checked out that upload, I will definitely leave it down in the description box. That way you can see my beauty room transformation. Nonetheless, I did want to sit down and film today's look. Look is actually going viral everywhere. I wanted to recreate the infamous Louis Dollhouse makeup that he did on Amaya Cologne. Beautiful, pretty, pink, blush, blown out makeup look this look is so perfect for spring and summer you guys especially if you don't really know how to achieve blush i'm gonna teach you guys in today's video especially how to do that soft glam blown out blush look that we all love that is trending right now if you're not a fan of blush hopefully after this video bitch you're definitely a fan now if you guys want to see exactly how i achieved this glam then y'all already know what to do definitely keep on watching before you go definitely hit that subscribe button right oh my god that's so weird to say hit that subscribe button like what you could tell a bitch have not done this in a minute Anyways, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can be down with the Prima Donna Nation because bitches is lit over here, okay? Definitely keep on watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Alright, beauty. So today is my first video in my new glam room. I gotta dive back into this lifestyle again. This is the look that I'm gonna be recreating today. Go ahead and prep my skin. Right now on my lips, I do have a little bit of lip plumper. And just for some moisturizer, this is the Versed Extra Dew Point Moisturizer. I think y'all seen me use this before too. I really, really like this. You can also find this in Target. Versed skincare is so good. It's like my first day like full on filming content for like multiple platforms with my new setup, so. I'm a little bit struggling, but we got this. Okay, now I do like to go in with a little bit of facial oil. This is the Jaclyn Hill Priming Face Oil. And I really, really love going in with facial oils and a moisturizer, especially because I do have dry ass skin. Also to um, prep my face, I've been using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist as a skin prep and y'all this is a new can as you guys can see the skin yeah the skin is skinning okay a little bit of eye cream this is my pixie collagen eye cream only to hydrate my under eye because this look is a very bright under eye those are already on and ready to go. The skin is already prepped and glowing. So now we are going to jump into the eyes. And I'm actually ordering my food because, bitch, I did not eat and this is why. Right, so for the eyes, I did zoom you guys in a bit. Prime my eyelids with some concealer. Taking the Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Matte Palette. Pretty brown right here. And he actually starts right here. Here versus on the outer corner so I'm gonna do that and he literally just pop this right into the eye socket deepening up the crease now if you did want to go into a little bigger brush only because I'm like OCD with my blending and then actually just diffuse this out because this brown actually has a little bit of a reddish undertone so it's gonna pull in that pink all together but i'm gonna take this really really lightly and just pop this into the crease just to make this eyeshadow look a little bit more pink and rosy in with a packing brush but this one does have a bit of fluff to it because now we're just gonna use this to just brighten up our lid and i'm actually gonna go in with this peachy tone right here this is like one of my favorite eyeshadows and you're just going to use this to literally like bring your lid back because it is so good. This is like my go-to 
color for my clients, y'all. This color just looks so pretty on everybody. This look is so simple. Running with this vanilla shade right here, it's not white. It's a really, really nice light cream. It's a lot more natural than just putting a bright white into your inner corners because that's a bit harsh for the look that we're going for. Now I'm going to go in with a liquid eyeliner. This one is the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. This liner has been my go-to liner lately. It's the bright red one so you cannot miss it. Not worry guys because we are not going to be drawing on a full wing. So if you do not know how to do wing eyeliner, don't worry. We're literally just going to create the most baby wing at the outer corner. Really from your outer corner, just going to flick upwards. And then we're going to connect it and stop it halfway because this is what's going to make your eyes look like they're lifting only on that outer corner. And like I said, it does not have to be perfect, girl. This is nowhere near perfect. We're literally just creating like a baby half wing and with that matte black in the palette as well to so just stamp right over that and slightly smudge it go in with more of a smudger brush just to even lightly diffuse that some more. now i'm gonna jump into lashes i actually just did get a pr package from um kiss oh my god this is perfect lashes could kind of make or break the look so i'm so glad that i opened up this pr package because y'all this style is perfect so for this type of look, you definitely want to go in with more of a half lash. So if you do not own half lashes, I recommend to literally just grab a wispy style of lashes and cut them in half and only use the outer corners because it's going to give you the same lifted eye look effect. But these new styles from Kiss, you guys, these are so pretty. This one is in the style Freckles. Y'all know I love me some lashes, y'all. That's why I got them tatted right here on my wrist. I love fucking lashes. But anyway, now is when I like to go in with my primers. So the first primer that I like to go in with is some type of gripping primer. This is going to make sure that my foundation grips on and lasts all night. A bit of a sticky tackiness to them, which is exactly what you want because this is going to ensure that your foundation is gripping onto it. What I'm going to use is the Smashbox. This is the original photo finish and blur. And this one is literally just going to smooth out my skin and just giving it that blurred effect. And the foundation I'm going to be using in today's look, of course, is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. This is like literally one of my top five favorite foundations. I just want my skin to look beautiful and I don't even have to think. I would definitely go in with this foundation. With this, I literally just like to place my foundation on first. And then I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario. This is the Duo Ended Brush. This is another holy grail, right with the foundation. This combo, you guys, will change your life, I promise you. Foundation just freaking eats. To cream contour, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer. This one is in the shade Caramel. Oops, it's upside down. Actually infused with shea butter. So you guys, if you do not want a contour that's gonna like literally give you two dry patches, I highly recommend this, especially if you have dry skin like me. So I'm just gonna be using this. So this is probably like the most important part of this eye look is the liquid blush. Now, if you're not a fan of liquid blush, it's going to look a bit scary at first. I'm not even going to lie, but when you put on your concealer and your powder and it gets all nice and blended and diffused, it will all work out in the end. So this is one of those looks where you definitely have to trust the process, especially for a beginner with cream blush. Pink could definitely look very like, whoa. Like I said, just trust the process. So the liquid blush that I'm going to be using, this is the Juvia's Place uh, liquid blush in the shade Pink Lady. You want to place the blush where you would actually put your highlighter. Yes. All the way up there, y'all. Using a, a e.l.f. putty blush brush. And this is a very small stippling brush. And I'm going to be using this and literally blending this right onto the cheek. 
and right up into that under eye yes literally up into the under eye it's gonna look crazy at first but it's gonna come together trust me so it should look a little something like this like i said it does look crazy into concealer and i'm actually gonna be trying the hourglass concealer i decided to p try this concealer because amaya is literally famous for using the um hourglass concealer but what other concealer to use beside this one now with the concealer you do want to basically marry it kind of to that liquid blush go in with my new favorite concealer brush this one is the real techniques 242 brush this is like the kitten paw brush and oh my god i just started using this brush and y'all i am obsessed now you see when you just tap right on over with the blush you see how it starts to blend oh my god it's so pretty and then you can even just tap on whatever's left over on that brush look at how pretty is that blend you guys so gorgeous so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side now i'm also gonna go in with a little bit of the huda beauty concealer just for a little bit of extra brightness no, but i'm just gonna focus that right on there this i do want to just keep right on this inner corner so for this i'm actually going to use my juvia's beauty blender but i go in with my baking powder i'm going to lightly set this with the mac studio fix powder in the shade nc20 this setting powder is so stunning a glowish bronzer and this one is in the shade 02 medium soft radiance and I love these bronzers, you guys, because they are so beautiful and diffused. Like, they're not going to give you that really harsh bronzer look. If anything, it gives you, like, an airbrushed bronzer look. Powder and our bronzer on. Now we're going to go in with our baking powders. We're going to go in with two baking powders today. One is going to be the Huda Beauty Pound Cake, just to brighten up my under eye. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly how I like to use pink powder especially to diffuse my under eye powder right on into that blush powder first that you're going to use to set your under eye and in this case i'm going to be using pound cake and i just love how much this brightens go right underneath that contour so now while you are in your baking state is now when you actually want to apply your blush so that way you can go ahead and diffuse it using the one size this is the cheek clapper in the shade attention seeker this one does come with a uh, a cream blush as well but it was a little too light for the look that we were going for versus the pink blush that we did use from juvia's go in with my blush brush and just tap right on over this this blush is gorgeous oh yeah oh baby <laughs> now that you got your blush all nice and popping just a clean brush really quickly just to wipe away this bake here you blend this out because you don't want a really really harsh contour line take a little bit of the one size powder as you guys can see this literally has a bit of a pink tone to it bit of this and i'm gonna literally use this to blend kind of like those outer edges of the blush the slightest difference but it definitely does make a difference it's something for it to seamlessly blend into this is how i like to do my mid-tone blushing i just take a little bit of this pink powder and literally marinate the powder from my concealer onto that blush. i'm gonna now use this nude eye pencil this is now just to brighten up this waterline you don't want to close off the eyes because you want to keep that dull eye effect. Lower lash mascara. Okay, now I'm going to hit the face one more time. With that Morphe setting mist. Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Diamond Bomb in the shade Rose 
rose rave and you guys this is such a pretty highlighter and this is just gonna go perfect right on top of those cheekbones oh look at that stunning you do not want to go overboard though because the look definitely does look matte so i don't want to bring the highlight too much in the front it's only going to be on the side this highlighter applies so good with your fingers y'all versus a brush i'm gonna go in with this jaclyn hill this is the brightening and setting palette got the one from mama mitchell i haven't opened it yet so i'm excited to use that one and i'm gonna use this one that does have a little bit of a pinky undertone super pigmented y'all so a little bit does go a long way oh see Okay, so now for the lips, I'm going to be going in with my trusty Morphe lip pencil. This one is in the shade Sweet Tea. She is very well loved. It does have a slight coolness to it, but not too cool where it looks gray. For my liquid lip, I am going to be taking the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. It uses something pinky, but it does have a peachiness to it. And then I'm actually going to take the cream blush that's in the Patrick Star um, palette and pop that on the center as well. Gloss. I did see this really, really pretty. This is a Sephora Laura gloss, you guys. And I found this right when I was at checkout. Look at how stunning. Okay, so I definitely nailed that little shimmer on the lid. So what I actually did was I took a little bit of that highlighter that was in Attention Seeker and I just placed a little bit of that on the center of my lips and then I went right back over that with the clear gloss. And that's how I got that little pretty shift the picture has because i really wanted to nail it down to the photo but not least is to set this entire look in using the charlotte tilbury flawless airbrush setting spray you guys this is like crack in a bottle all right beauty so this is the completed makeup look it doesn't look like what top she's wearing Ooh. so i'm gonna kind of like take my photos kind of more or less like this with the little you know, off the shoulder vibe. Nah. You guys. Did I like not fucking nail this look? Oh my God, that looks so like. Now that I looked at the reference photo, why we ate down that much? I just went num 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 and ate that the fuck up real quick though, like. This is how the Barbie baddie blushed out blush makeup look. <laughs> I am like obsessed with this shimmering pink lip combo. Oh my god. What do you guys think of this look? Hopefully you did learn something new in today's video. And definitely before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you could be down with the prima donna gang because bitch, we are lit over here. Okay? Period. But anyways, thank you all for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!